This video is presented by Scholars from the CODES program, formerly known as Community Oriented Digital Engagement Scholars. Within CODES, our mission is to engage in collaborative research with the Missouri Botanical Garden to establish frameworks of reparative justice. Our aim is to serve as conduits for conveying the untold story of the enslaved individuals who played a significant role in the creation and maintenance of the garden under Henry Shaw's ownership. Despite their pivotal contributions, these individuals remain largely marginalized and overlooked in the garden's historical narrative. Thus, the central inquiry emerges. How can we effectively and holistically integrate the wealth of African-American knowledge within the garden? This is a highly nuanced process that is going to require all hands on deck. Let's delve into this question further, starting with a little history. The Missouri Botanical Garden, also known as MOBOD, has a history regarding the representation of African-American history. One of the few exhibits dedicated to this topic is the George Washington Carver Garden, located in the back of the garden and often overlooked due to its limited accessibility. Another exhibit can be found in the basement of Henry Shaw's house, but has very limited information and does not provide accurate details about the garden's history with slavery. There are no plans to open this exhibit to the public in the near future. The basement itself appears as an afterthought, and not many people outside of the garden are aware of its existence or the history it holds. Unfortunately, there's little to no information regarding the individual slaves owned by Henry Shaw. However, tax records do exist that document their presence. Henry Shaw is considered the founder of Mobot. He owned both Native American and African American slaves on his property. Despite this fact, there's still not much diversity within the garden itself when it comes to representing African American history or culture. While conducting research, Inside our CODES teams, we learn that enslaved people's contributions to botany often go unnoticed due to the overbearing power of colonialism. These enslaved people have essentially been stripped of not just their credit, but their humanity. Our goal is to tell these stories, keeping reparative justice a priority throughout the process. This initiative aligns with reparative justice by seeking to address historical injustices through acknowledgement, recognition, and action. By highlighting the contributions of the enslaved individuals who were essential to the establishment and maintenance of the garden, this project aims to correct the historical erasure and marginalization of their experiences in labor. Reparative justice involves not only acknowledging past wrongs, but also taking tangible steps to address their enduring effects. In this context, incorporating the stories and knowledge of African-American individuals into the narrative of the garden is a form of reparative action. It acknowledges the historical exploitation and oppression of enslaved people while also honoring their resilience, expertise, and agency. While working with our mobile partners, we have taken the initiative to understand how the current employees perceive the lack of African and African-American representation and knowledge shown throughout the garden. Through conducting surveys, we have gathered valuable insights that suggest a need for greater diversity and inclusion initiatives. One of the proposed strategies is to enhance the exhibits and signage to prominently feature Black and African diaspora knowledge throughout the garden. By incorporating these perspectives, MOBOT can enrich the visitor experience and promote a more inclusive environment. Additionally, MOBOT could consider increasing the employment of African Americans in the garden. This not only addresses the lack of diversity in the workforce, but also allows them to tap into the wealth of botanical knowledge and traditions that are often underrepresented. The collaboration between the CODES program and the Missouri Botanical Garden sheds light on the need to address historical gaps and injustices in botanical history. We are focusing on the stories of the enslaved individuals who played crucial roles in the garden's development, aiming to correct the lack of recognition at the garden. As CODE students, we believe in reparative justice, which means acknowledging past wrongs and taking steps to tell the untold stories of those who were silenced. By including African American knowledge and perspectives in the garden story and workforce, CODES and the garden are working towards a more equitable future. This approach not only works towards building a better future, but also makes botany more diverse and enriching by including different viewpoints and traditions.